Welcome back to Bay Area People. Art is often considered a visual medium, but Bay Area museums are trying to change that. They are turning art into something that you can both touch and hear. If you walk into the Asian Art Museum, you will find lots of people speaking in hushed tones, quietly taking a look around. This is how many people experience the beauty of art, rich in color and history, in exhibits like this one, called Painting Is My Everything. Actually, that's a quote from one of the artists who says, painting is my everything. And she started out as a cleaning woman and learned how to paint, and this is in a small village in India. But imagine what a museum visit is like for those who are blind or visually impaired. Unless, of course, there is something to touch or something to listen to. The Asian Art Museum has just launched a new pilot program that reaches out to the blind and visually impaired, offering tactile displays and audio descriptions of the art. Initial feedback has been very positive. What's been most exciting is how interested they have been in art and experiencing art. And that really opens up new possibilities for an art museum that really hasn't thought a whole lot about this. But how do you transform art from something you can look at into something that you can touch? That's where technology and Hong Kong-based social designer Rico Chan stepped in. Art and culture is who we are. Art and culture is our past. Everyone should have the right to know, to engage, and to understand. Chan is the founder of Beyond Vision Projects, which is focused on social inclusiveness for the visually impaired. He created the new textured renderings of the artwork. There are three of these tactile exhibits inside the Painting Is My Everything exhibit, and they offer new ways for both sighted and visually impaired people to experience the art. It is just the beginning. The museum is already looking at ways to expand the program. And now that it is, new visitors are coming. One recent visitor, who is visually impaired, told the museum, now that I've been here, I'm not afraid to come back. The museum says when they do, they hope to have even more ways for them to experience the beauty of the art around them.